Okay, let's look at how to deploy to multiple clusters using Rancher. So let's go to Rancher first. Now I have two clusters here. So if you go to cluster management, clusters, and here I have two local and CD play test cluster. In both cases, I'll have labels on these clusters. So let's look at this one. You go into config, and you'll see the labels. and labels and annotations. And you'll see here there's example equals target. There's this one which I'm not going to use, um, but then there's this one provider cattle IO equals GKE. All right, so if we look at the other cluster, which was the local cluster, you'll see the same, you'll see two of the same labels. They're listed up here. This is the, the free version of Rancher. It lists them up here for the local. But the same ones, example equals target, provider cattle.io equals GKE. Okay, so now let's look at harness. In your harness application, the service, no changes to the service for a rancher multi-cluster deployment. It's standard um, um, Kubernetes deployment. This is just using our default manifests and pulling a to-do list from Docker Hub. Excuse me, a to-do list artifact from Docker Hub. So we go back in. Next, we set up our environment and infrastructure definition. And we set this up. We select rancher and cloud provider type. And right now, we're just doing Kubernetes. And then we also have a uh, cloud provider ranch named Rancher Example. And I'll show you that real quick. Let me just duplicate this so I can jump over a little faster. OK, so the cloud provider is just a connection to your Rancher account. So if I go into, oops, excuse me, if I go into cloud providers here, and then where's my Rancher one right here, Rancher Example. You can see it's a URL, so if I go to Rancher, it's just the URL to the end of the domain name here, so right to here. And then uh, this is a bearer token, and you can create that in Rancher. You go here, and you go down to Account and API Keys, and you can create the bearer token there. Okay, so let's go back to our uh, infrastructure definition. So I selected that cloud provider. I'm going to use the default namespace, and this is the Kubernetes release name. So down here we have cluster selection criteria, and here's where you add those labels to target those clusters. And this, these are ands. This is an and condition. So the cluster must have this um, label and this label value, this label value and this label value, in order for it to get targeted. Um, you can enter in multiple comma-separated list of multiple values in here, and to make it an or for to make this condition an or here in the label values. But for now we're just going to do these two. Okay, and that's all you have to do. And then we can go back into our workflow. I'll look at a rolling. And this one uses that environment and infrastructure definition. And it has these two default steps we ought to, we generate. Rancher resolve clusters. And that one's going to look at all the clusters in your Rancher account. And then um, it's going to pick the uh, ones that match the infrastructure definition. And then this is just a simple rollout to it. And you can skip the dry run. You can select a specific harness delegate. And you can set a timeout. And in the rollback steps, we have Rancher rollback deployment. All that's going to do is roll back to previous versions if there's a failure. So when we deploy this, I'll deploy it. I already deployed it a few times, but I'll do it again. Here, I'll select a artifact version. And as it goes, it will uh, reach out to Rancher, and it will find all the clusters that match. So here's where it resolved the clusters. And now it found two that matched. There's our CD test cluster, CD play test cluster, and local. And it's deploying to both of these simultaneously, very quickly. And that's about it. That's how uh, easy it is to set up a multi-cluster deployment using Rancher and Harness.